Canyon has refreshed its Lux platform with the launch of the new 2022 Lux World Cup Cross Country Full Suspension Mountain Bike. I've got all of the juicy details for you, but here are the five headlines you need to listen up for. First up, the brand claims the Lux World Cup is one of the world's lightest full suspension frames, coming in at a claimed 1.535 kilograms for a size medium. Number two, it's the first Lux to feature Canyon's top flight CFR carbon construction, replacing the CF SLX model. Number three, Ceramic Speed's solid lubrication technology bearings are used on all pivot points on the CFR model. Number four, the new bike has a revised front end aesthetic that hides the cables and hydraulic hoses through a proprietary headset cover. And finally, number five, the frame can accept up to two 750 milliliter bottles, and that includes the extra small size bike. The bikes are available now and start at £3,149 or 3299 US dollars. It tops out at £7,599 or 8449 US dollars for the Halo World Cup CFR Limited Edition model. So, with that out of the way, I'll get into all the details, but as always, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for all of the latest cycling tech news. I'm going to run you through the frame details now before talking more about the weight. The new bike still delivers 100mm of suspension travel front and rear, and runs on 29-inch wheels. It sits alongside the Lux Trail, which has 120mm of suspension travel, and a more burly build kit overall. There will be a second tier CF level frame for the Lux World Cup, but as I mentioned, there won't be a CF SLX offering. CF SLX was nominally Canyon's premium carbon layup, which the CFR now supersedes. Canyon has trundled itself down the integration route with a revised front-end aesthetic that hides the cables and hydraulic hoses through a proprietary headset cover. Like its predecessor, the Lux World Cup lacks traditional seat stay pivots, instead using a carbon flex pivot. Canyon has also revised the rocker design, which is now hidden beneath the improved shock extension. The brand says both components are lighter and stronger through the use of carbon injection moulding. Gone is the impact protection stop on the top of the top tube on the outgoing Lux. This limited the handlebar and fork crown steering angle in a bid to reduce the chances of the frame getting damaged by the fork. Canyon instead uses a steerer stop arrangement just above the upper headset bearing. This is to avoid either part causing carbon damage to the top or down tube in an impact. In welcome move, the frame can accept up to two 750ml bottles. This includes the size extra small, which is great to see on a dedicated cross-country bike. Canyon is continuing to use its lightweight chain catcher to prevent drop chains. For the weight weenies among us, that part is said to weigh in at 3.6 grams, with the fitting bolt adding a whopping additional 4.2 grams. Like many of the brand's mountain bikes, the Lux World Cup uses the Quixel rear through axle system, so you haven't got to dig out your multi-tool to remove the rear wheel. Canyon says the maximum tyre clearance is a rather precise 29 by 2.52 inches, but all complete bikes will ship with 2.35 inch mountain bike tyres. For all you dropper seat post fans, the frame doesn't include a guided tube for a dropper. However, the brand says you can run one, albeit with some imaginative cable finishing required. The maximum seat post length allowed is 400mm, which roughly equates to a dropper post with 125mm of drop. And now onto frame weight. Cutting weight down has been a big focus, and as I mentioned, the new bike will be the first to feature Canyon's top flight Canyon Factory Racing, or CFR Carbon Construction. CFR is Canyon's acronym for its lightest and stiffest carbon layup. It is akin to the 12R layup used on specialised S-Works frames. The Lux World Cup is said to be one of the world's lightest full suspension frames, and as I mentioned, a size medium frame comes in at 1,535 grams. This represents a 127 gram weight saving over the outgoing Lux, which was no heavy weight itself. It's important to note that this weight excludes the shock, 
remote, rear through axle and chain guide. How does that compare to other bikes? Well, Orbea's Ois, or Ois comes in at a claimed 1740 grams and Specialized Epic comes in at 1869 grams, both in a size medium with the rear shock. Despite the low weight, the bike meets Canyon's own Category 3 testing standards as its trail bikes, such as the 140mm trail slaying Neuron. The CF level frame weight is also competitive, with Canyon claiming it comes in at 1925 grams in an unspecified weight. Although one of the main focuses of the Lux World Cup is its low weight, Canyon says this is not at the expense of durability. The Lux World Cup uses ceramic speed's increasingly popular SLT or solid lubrication technology bearings on all pivot points, as well as in the headset on CFR models. These are claimed to be self-lubricating corrosion-resistant bearings backed by a lifetime warranty. When you consider that changing an upper headset bearing now involves and doing all of the brake lines, it's a welcome feature and it shouldn't require replacing, in theory. The CF frames are instead specced with standard Acros bearings. The Lux World Cup features updates to its geometry and, surprise surprise, it's longer, lower and slacker than its predecessor, if still rather conservative. The head tube angle has slackened by 1.5 degrees to 68.5 degrees. In our review of the outgoing Lux, our tester felt the 70 degree head angle held the bike back a little bit on the descent, so this is a welcome change. The reach has grown by 15 millimeters across all sizes, clocking in at 450 millimeters on a size medium. The chainstays have also been shorted by 5 millimeters to 430 millimeters across the range, and the seat tube angle has steepened by 0.5 degrees to 75 degrees. Canyon told us this was to preserve the Lux's trademark agility and efficiency. The seat tube length has also been reduced by 10 mm in case riders do want to use a longer travel dropper post and to allow you to manoeuvre when things get rowdy on technical descents. Canyon will be offering the Lux World Cup in sizes extra small through to extra large. All models use Fox 32 step cast suspension forks with the exception of the top flight World Cup CFR Limited which opts for the RockShox SID SL Ultimate. Canyon's own integrated CP0008 bar stem on the CFR models have a 70mm stem length and 740mm bar width. The less expensive CF models use a separate race face handlebar and stem, but the integration arrangement is otherwise identical. All models feature rigid posts rather than dropper seat posts. Again, Canyon says this is because the bike is designed for racing and fitting one would add weight. That said, in our dropper post versus rigid seat post test, we found that running a dropper seat post resulted in a faster time overall. Let us know your preference for cross-country racing in the comments. All models roll on Maxxis Icon 2.35 inch tyres with its TR and XO casing. Full specs on all of the different World Cup models are available in the news story on bikeradar.com. The link for that is in the video description. So that's the new Canyon Lux World Cup. We have a bike on its way from Germany as we speak, but unfortunately, it hasn't arrived in time to film it. Would you like to see a full review of the bike? Perhaps head to head with another top flight cross country race bike. Let us know what you'd like to see in the comments. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and get pressing on that bell icon so you know the next time a hot video from Bike Radar drops.